morning. This is DCR Troy Community Radio.com. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN for David Denoyer on TCTV. Time now we move on to the Main Street Report, and with me I have Stephanie Baker Silk and Katherine Hayes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, ladies? Doing great. It's a, a little beautiful sleepy. day. Yeah, it's a, a busy, it's yeah. a busy weekend for you. Oh yes. yeah. This this is the kickoff of our holiday season for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> just ready. for starters, uh, hop, um, downtown Merchants Holiday Open House. It's going on all weekend long. It was last night and today and tomorrow. That's right. It'll be open again today from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yes. So. What all can people expect downtown? Well, today we have a lot of fun things going on. Um, obviously, the stores are open and have their holiday gear and apparel and whatever else they're selling ready to go. Um, but we also have a couple special events today. You can drop your kiddos off at the Troy Rec if they are preschool age and above. Uh, for a $5 donation, they will watch your kids for about two hours at a time. Nice. So you can go out and enjoy lunch or shop or do whatever it is that you're going to do today. Um, downtown, that is. It's not dropping <laughs> yeah. off and go to Cincinnati or something. Um, but so that's going on at the rec today from 10 to 6, and then they will be there again tomorrow. I believe it's from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. So if you have any inclination to do that, that's available to you. Um, and then at 3 o'clock today... Buddy the Elf, Buddy what's your the favorite elf? color? <laughs> <laughs> smiling, smiling's my favorite. Um, they will be playing Elf at 3 o'clock. So ticket office opens at 2.15 and there's no charge to see Elf, but at 2.15... It's for the first 130 people. That's right. So at 2.15, they're going to start handing out the tickets. So make sure you're in line. Nice. As you walk around downtown and go shopping, you're also going to see all of the windows all dressed up for the holidays. Um, we challenge the merchants to do their favorite holiday movie in their windows. And so we actually do have a contest going on to see who has the best window. Um, so you'll see a sticker in their windows that say where you can go and vote for your favorite, and we will be awarding them this super awesome trophy um, at the Grand Illumination. And yes. and that is only like two weeks away. Isn't that crazy? We don't I know. Like <laughs> <laughs> We're still pulling all the final touches together. Was, don't is that why you're a little worn down this morning? <laughs> yes, a little bit. <laughs> We've had Christmas music playing for like three months in our office gearing up for this. Well, when do you start playing the Christmas music downtown? That'll begin um, also this weekend. So, um, so we... Always get a little flack every year of uh, people who do not want to see the Christmas stuff go up before Thanksgiving. But, you know. Well, it's... Because the Grand Illuminations, the day after Thanksgiving, you kind right. of have to have the tree in place. You have to start the feel or else everything gets done, last you know, well, last, you, the last minute. Yeah. I, I know what it is at home, you know, that day when you're putting up the tree and everything comes out of the attic or basement. and it's that's a mess and you yeah. couldn't have that on the square the day after thanksgiving right you could we just wouldn't hear the end of it uh, yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> we don't have elves that could come in the middle of the night and get all that taken care of sometimes i think the city workers are elves they uh, they work like they elves. are magical yeah. <laughs> the things that they pull off it's amazing yes and they have done an awesome job downtown this year already. So. But I still imagine in my head that the mayor is up in the attic getting out those giant ornaments that go on the tree. <laughs> They're in big shoe boxes. And, and, that's right, and they have to dust them off yeah. individually, <laughs> each and every one. Also, and then not this week, but the following week, the week of Thanksgiving, the Santa house will be delivered. That downtown. is so cool. Yes. I can remember going to the Santa house downtown when I was a kid. Yes. It's funny, we actually posted about it on Facebook, and the number of people who said that they visited the Santa House in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s is pretty amazing. So I think it's neat to bring that tradition back downtown. It is. It gives people mm -hmm. another opportunity to kind of relive the magic of downtown during the holiday season. Well, as you think of the downtown, the downtown was such a, a crucial part of our lives. Mm -hmm. And then as things grew to the edge of town, it kind of pulled things away from the downtown right. to see all of that coming back. And um, I it's don't know. Job, Clint. You know. I know <laughs> you're doing a wonderful job at it to get that back downtown. <laughs> and to know that we're getting Santa Claus out of the mall. That's and right. And he's going to be right. on Browdy Plaza. And I'm sure he's so happy, especially since he's getting his own new house. He is super excited. Well, I mean, we had him here on the show, yes. on the morning show. And I think he is 
over the moon excited at the opportunity to see the kids of Troy every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, starting with the Grand Illumination all the way up until December 23rd. So keep your eyes peeled for the times. It'll be posted on our website. It'll be posted on our Facebook page and probably several other places downtown as well. Um, but make sure you stop out and say hi and get your pictures with Santa. And speaking of that, now you're also doing something else where uh, 12 lucky kids are going to have lunch with Santa. Yes, and that is also, that kicked off last night. Um, you can go to the Mayflower during their open business hours, so obviously today, tomorrow, and then anytime they are regularly open, and pick up a entry form to fill out to enter your child for a chance to win a lunch with Santa Claus. Um, we have a mailbox that will sit out on Prouty Plaza that you can drop your entry forms in um, and you can register for that all the way up until probably 6 o'clock the night of the Grand Illumination and we'll have Mayor Beamish read off the 12 lucky winners and the lunches will be Monday, December 21st at noon at Basil's and the second one will be on Tuesday the 22nd at La Piazza at noon. Wonderful. So yeah. Enter your children for a chance to win. So lots of really cool stuff going on as we gear up for the holidays. Definitely. Yeah. So uh, the businesses involved in the Downtown Merchants Hol Holiday Open House, you want to kind of give a rundown? I know they're all doing a little something, some maybe more than others. Yes. Oh. So we've got <laughs> <laughs> Floor All Seasons, David Bear on the Square, Line and Lamb Yarn Boutique, Amish Country Furniture, Three Word Sisters, Blue Bow Boutique, Samas Reme, Expressions of the Home, Big House Bread and Cookie Company, In the Patch Designs, Ark and Echo, and the Troy Falk Barn. And uh, nothing says Christmas like while you're out holiday shopping to when you can go in and get some fresh cookies. Oh, yes. yeah. Fresh cookies, <laughs> fresh coffee at Wine In. Yeah. And make sure you stop out tomorrow, too. On Sunday, we have carriage rides going around downtown. Really? So check that out, too. Um, I'm not sure. I want to say it's like 3 to $6 to do it. I'm not sure. Um, but they'll let you know once you sign up for that. Um, but make sure you check that out. And then they are coming back again for the Grand Illumination. So but if wait, you there's more. Chance, <laughs> yeah. I know. How if great. you miss your chance, you can come back and do it again the night of the Grand Illumination. I'm so excited. I, You know, I don't even have to have, as I get older, I really don't have to have snow to get into that holiday spirit. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not rain. Yeah. yeah. It really doesn't matter. I think for me, once I see those lights going up, it's the lights that make it. That's mm -hmm. really my favorite part. Okay, now I have to ask, as uh, I'm getting our windows here at the station, my favorite Christmas movie was It's a Wonderful Life. And always has been, so I watched it last night, and that's how I've started decorating uh, the windows, is the Bailey Brothers building and loan. What is, Catherine, what's your favorite holiday movie? White Christmas, for sure. White Christmas. Yep, just gotta love that Bing Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> it also has Rosemary Clooney in it, which she is a native Kentuckian, fellow Kentuckian like me, so gotta love that part too. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're like comparing yourself then, that's kind of that, thing. well, I no, mean, that's that feeling. You don't want to Rosemary Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> but no, I just love the storyline. I love that it just, I mean, it's really the the whole aura of giving something back to somebody. Not necessarily a gift, but just doing something nice for someone else. Wonderful. <laughs> Stephanie, what's your favorite holiday movie? Well, and if you haven't figured out my personality yet, <laughs> you know, I mean, The White Christmas and The It's a Wonderful Life, those are great, but I'm more <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I know, right? I'm more of a National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yeah, well, that's my, girl. that's I mean, my second favorite, I, yeah. is when the tree goes up, I, I start out by watching uh, It's a Wonderful Life, it switches over to uh, Christmas Vacation uh -huh. because that's usually about the point that I'm untangling lights. <laughs> and some so, of them are not twinkling. Yeah, some of them <laughs> are not twinkling. Some of them are not lighting. and uh, So that whole feeling carries through. And then by the time the last decorations are going on the tree, it's Home Alone. Yes. You know, and it's funny because... I order, I'm that girl that orders really chintzy things and gives really chintzy gifts. So this year, I have ordered for me a shirt that says, You serious, Clark? And then <laughs> the, both of the kids will be sporting Merry Christmas, You Filthy Animal t shirts. <laughs> probably on Christmas Day. So that's, that's mine. David, what is your favorite holiday movie? I have, I have a top two. I really, really like Die Hard, and I'll argue to the death with you that it is not a Christmas <laughs> film. And my second favorite is uh, A Christmas Carol with George C. Scott. Okay. Oh, nice. There you go. Christmas Carol. That's and Die Hard. Now, do you like the Muppet version? 
I don't mind the Muppet version. I mean, I got to see it on the Mayflower big screen last year, so that was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't, I just, I, I've always grown up with that movie, so it's always been a favorite. Speaking of the Mayflower, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think she is going to show Home Alone on December 19th. Ooh. Just so you know. Wow. Maybe put that on your calendar. Yeah, I was going to say, mark that on your tentative plans for Home Alone. definitely on my tentative plans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else you ladies would like to add in this morning? I think that's good. That's it for the end of November, and then stay tuned. We'll be like, talking in December about what's coming up in 2016. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. That is coming up quick, <laughs> isn't yeah, it? It is. Okay. Um, not far off, holiday or the uh, Grand Illumination, day after Thanksgiving. That'll be next week. We'll tell you all about it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> this has been the Main Street Report with Catherine Hayes and Stephanie Baker-Silk. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN for David DeNoyer on TCTV.